Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with the Sunday tutorial. I know, extra late, <laughs> but the mojo was just not there. Oh my goodness, this was struggle. This was a super struggle. So anyways, what I did when I am running low on mojo is I go to Pinterest, okay? Now I had these pinned. And let's see if you can see them clearly. And they are these like garment pin brooches that I absolutely love. Are those not gorge? Now, the only bummer part is that I don't know if you can see, but all these all have little hoops on them. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any, I could only find them like this. So, what happens is, is that these have no little loops which I wanted, but I could not find any. So um, I had to get these from Michael's and I had to make use out of these without the little holes, which is a bummer because these are kind of extra fabulous and I love them. So see how there's the little loops up top? And all of these are so beautiful. I love them. So they can be, oh, they can be used for so many different things. Um, you could put them on your purse. You could put it on a hat. You could put it on. It's, it's like a brooch. It serves the purpose of a brooch, or however, right? See, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I love it. So, oh, let me not show you my other ideas. Don't want you guys taking those ideas because <laughs> those are for upcoming Sundays. <laughs> I already have one picked for next Sunday so that I'm not wrecking my brain like I was doing this weekend. Okay, so let me show you. All right. So this is one of the garment pin brooches. I busted out these. I love these skulls <laughs> with the bling in the eyes. And I use the ones with the pink Swarovski and then these ones right here are like a really, really pretty blue-green Swarovski. And then I just hung on a little, um, little assembly of some beads. Then I have this really pretty chain right here. And this one is from, um, from Michaels. You can buy it already done. I didn't have to do anything. Love it. And then just random chain. Okay, and then I used one big jump ring and then another jump ring that fit inside of here. I could hook something in here, but then it would just be going back and forth. Um, and I would have to clip them on because it's not like I would be able to slide a bead on. So I'd have to clip them on and I didn't want that kind of movement. So then I put the other one on here and then I hung this on here. So I just made a couple little dangles. So I thought that would be super cute. So that's one. And then I did another one, same kind of color palette, pink and blue. I use this really pretty sideways heart. That's a glass bead. And I got this from downtown LA. And then I have these really cute little um, dangles that Nurse Tara made for me in our swap. I am literally down to like a three because we did a pretty big one and I used almost all of them. So I just added these right here were from her as well. I love the mixed colors and how she mixed everything. Just so pretty, just vibrant. And I did the same type of thing, just hung random pieces of chain at different lengths. And then um, I only used one on this one. Then I hung the chain across. And then this one right here is just on that one right there. So this opens from up here so that everything is here. So see, you, if you wanted to, you could totally do it in the front, but I didn't want this to be in the front. I wanted this circle to be in the back. Okay, and that's how I did it. Now we're gonna build one together. All right, so let's turn the camera down this way. And we are going to use one of these. Like I said, I purchased this at Michael's and we're gonna only be using these two tools, okay? because I did cut out some of the work because I didn't really want to do too much. And I have these um, 
jump rings right here. The gauge is fat. So you see that? That's a fat gauge. And I believe I got these at Michael's. I wanted fatter ones, and this is a much bigger one, you know, in comparison to the ones I normally use, like this one. You see the difference? I wanted this heavy-duty type for um, to hang, you know, a lot of stuff. And this bad boy is not going to open. So you see, I couldn't use a nail, and plus I took off my acrylics. So I'm back to the jail. Okay, so we're going to stick, wait. I like mine to where this is going up. Okay, and I like it going this way with this little part being to the left and not this way. So it's totally your preference how you want to do it, but you have to keep in mind when you hang stuff, it's going to be facing a certain way. So this is the way I choose to do it. Okay, and then I hook this one through the back, oops, through this the back one instead of the front one because of the way the chain hangs. I don't really like the way it hangs when I do it in the front. So that's why I do it in the back. Okay. So we're going to hook on the other big one. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend and that you're preparing for a great fourth. Um, I have to go back to work tomorrow. I can I even begin to tell you how bummed I am just to take, get off Tuesday and then go back Wednesday. It's torment, but I didn't want to take off any vacation days because my son is coming to visit soon. So, here we go, aside from my babbling. So this is what we have so far, okay? Now, let's go ahead and we are going to do, should we do the chain first? No, let's not. We are gonna go ahead and open this back up and we're gonna start hanging the dangle part of the chain, not the one that goes, um, oops. Here we go. All right, now there is no, method to this is totally how you want to hang um come on camera how you want to hang your chain if you want it to i cut them at all different sizes so for me i don't i don't have no rhyme or reason with how i'm hanging the chain whether it be um oh no i forgot to add it on there all right hold on now, because this chain that I'm using, one of the chains that I'm using is so thin, it won't fit that fat gauge on that jump ring. So I have to put them on a smaller jump ring or split ring. I'm sorry. I keep saying the wrong thing. Is it a split jump? Oh my gosh. <laughs> get it together, Anna. Get it together. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and hang that on there. So it's just a couple of them hanging. And then, let's see, should we just add? Now we're gonna go ahead and add a piece of this right here. This is the one that's from Michael's. And we're gonna hang it. I think I needed to put this on a jump ring as well. Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay, so we have those three. Now we're gonna hang on more chain. And yep, I need another one of those jump rings because I didn't think about putting those on first. So let's go ahead and grab one. Thank goodness I didn't put those away. So normally I'll just put out all my stuff and then I start putting stuff away and next thing you know when I'm doing my video I'm like oh man I actually needed to put that on. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and close this up. Now, let's get this back up here, and we're going to put this on here. So now we have all of these just dangling with no rhyme or reason. You could totally add stuff dangling from the bottom. I just opt to not do it. Okay, now we are going to add our dangles, which is this right here that I put together using the turquoise um, it's a turquoise box mix that you can get from Michaels. It's ten dollars. You use a coupon, and of course you know I did. So I hung that there, and I have something to hang from the bottom. And then I have this one right here that I did came from that same mixed turquoise box. We're going to hang that on top. So now we're going to close this off. No, should wait. No, it's not. 
Let's go ahead and add the other chains. Or should, maybe I should because I have a lot going on here. You know what? I'm going to add another one of these um, jump rings and put it through there only because I already have so much going on. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this little dangle to the bottom of this one. And let's see, let's see. All right. If you hear the noise in the back, it's my fan because it's kind of hot. All right. So, there we go. So this is how my little concoction of beads and chain. So you just add random pretty beads charms. This is my last one that was gifted to me by Mimi. Hey girl. So I loved those. I used those quickly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add another one of these juicy jump rings and those I did put up. That's why I always, when I go and I see stuff, I always get stuff, even though I know I don't need it then, because along the line, you're always gonna need these jump rings in different sizes because different projects require different sizes. And this is one that I would normally not use on my dangles because it's pretty big. And I can't tell you the size, I'm sorry, because right away when I get my beads, this is what I do. I put them away. I don't even keep the packaging. Okay, so we're going to grab another one of these and we're going to put it through this hole again because thankfully it fits both of them. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these chains. So because this chain was so thin, I had to add a small um, jump ring. Okay, to both ends so that I could hook it onto this really big um, jump ring. Now these ones, I do do the first one smaller and I kind of start going small, medium, you know, large. I, that's how I definitely do that on this one right here. Um, you don't have to though, honestly. It, it really just depends on um, how you like it to look. And, um, and that's kind of how they showed on um, Pinterest. So that's what I ran with. All right, so there we go. All right, so you see I have two of them. Yeah, let's get this out of the way first of all. I have two of these larger gauge jump rings, only because you see how much I have on this one already? I got a lot on here. A lot of different chains, the beads, so it's already got a lot going on. I didn't want to add four more pieces of chain, so I just added a second jump ring. Now we're going to take these ones, and we are going to hook them to this side right here. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, did I do it the right way? No, I didn't. I just did it upside down, see? I have to put, I wasn't paying attention. And this one actually should go on the inside because now it's hanging on the wrong side. But that's okay. Easy fix. See, it's awesome when mistakes are made on camera, right? Because it's going to happen. It's not perfect every single time you do it. Now we can go ahead because I have to remember this was not on top when I was hanging this right now. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, there we go. All right. And we are going to hang the chain. So we're going to do the largest one first because that's what's going to sit in the back of this one. I'll tell you, all the chains, it gets a little confusing which one I'm grabbing. Okay. Kind of hard to hold it. There we go. And then we're going to come through here. We're going to look at what was the next one. It was the 
this one right here. And we're gonna cut it through. And we're gonna put this one through. And then this one through. Okay. Now, you'll see right here, I'm not gonna close it off yet because I still have more to hang. So see right here we have so far. We have the chains and your dangles. Up a little bit. There you go, sorry about that. So you have the chains and the dangles here and then you have the second jump ring right here. And then it swoops through here. And I'm holding this so it doesn't fall through. And then you have the jump ring here. And this is where you add more dangles. Okay. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall out. Uh. All right. So now I am going to hang one of these super cute little tassels that I got from Michaels. Um, so I can hang it right there. And then I made this little dangle right here. I'm going to be hanging something from the bottom of that just to put a bead cap and a glass bead and hang that on there and then we're going to close it off all right and then so yeah these bad boys are super strong we're going to take one of these jump rings Put it on a charm and we're going to put it at the bottom see i love dangles i love stuff hanging everywhere i like stuff that's busy because <laughs> it's so extra cute okay so we get it all all right so then let's put this back up you have your tassel your little charm dangle that you make, and then you have a dangle. Now this, the, it's limited. You can go crazy on however you want to do these with whatever beads, charms, chain. You could even mix the chain. I was, I wanted to mix the chains with gold, copper, and silver, but I really wanted the loops to be there because I wanted to add those type of charms and things hanging from there. So I'm still gonna go look for those. I'm probably gonna have to buy those online. Um, to find the ones with the little circles because seriously, I mean This right here. I have to have it because it's really extra amazing See how su super cool that it oops Sorry, there we go. See how neat that is And that's and there's no chain or anything like that as far as drooping this way, but you could hang just the dangles and be done So super cute See how many ideas? Just gorgeous. So I definitely want to give those a whirl. So I have to find them, but I would like to find them in bronze. I just love bronze. I don't know what it is, but I dig it. See how gorgeous those are? Dying. And then there's some with the chain going back and forth as well. Hanging a big old charm there with a bunch of little beads. Chain with the beads. So look at that right there. It's gorgeous, right? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. I would totally rock these on all my purses. <laughs> I love it. So, anywho, this is where my inspiration came from. It came from um, Pinterest, and I tell you, I love Pinterest. I hope they never go away. <laughs> so, this is what I had and what I made do with what I had because I just couldn't find any with the little, what you call it, at the bottom. So, just know you can still create and you can still make something super beautiful with what you have, which you can find at your craft store. And I love it. These are really pretty. These are great gifts um, for people that would still wear these, you know. Know, um, you know what's cute too? I've done it before as I've worn these on my jeans on the pocket part. So I would put this through my jean and yeah it does put like a bigger hole in the jean but to me it's fine. Once I wash it it goes right back together. I don't care. And then um, and then this hangs like right at the pocket and it looks so extra cute. I, I've done that before. So it's just a matter of being creative you know with 
you know, what the dangles and stuff that you like and a chain and stuff like that. So give it a whirl. I hope that this was um, inspiring. It's not your typical, you know, uh, earrings, bracelet, necklace. But you know what? I told you that um, I'm going to start doing stuff a little outside the box. Um, using beads, though, and stuff like that. So that you can, you know, maximize on your bead collection. And um, do other things. So I will be coming out. And if you guys have ideas, I have had a couple awesome subscribers leave me ideas. Which I, it's one of them is saved in pinterest and i love that i love that so if you have ideas that um and if i can do it and it's not too much then um and if i know how <laughs> then i have no problem doing it so thank you guys so much for stopping by i appreciate all of you you guys have an amazing and blessed remaining of your day have a safe fourth of july and i will see you soon bye